This crock pot has definitely been a lifesaver for me. So let's get cooking something new. Hey guys, my name is Vanessa and today I am sharing a super easy dinner recipe. You could totally use this for lunch as well, but something that I'm just throwing together to get into the crock pot in the morning and it is ready to go for dinner. So for this recipe, you are going to need just a little salt and pepper to taste however much you want. I have this container, it is 32 ounces. You'll need about four cups, which this turns out to be of chicken broth. I'm going to dump this bag in there and this is just an eight ounce bag of Colby and Monterey Jack cheese. You could use cheddar cheese, whatever kind of cheese you prefer. I'm also throwing in there this entire bag of Mrs. T's pierogies. This is the classic cheddar. So it's char sharp cheddar cheese and creamy whipped potatoes in the pierogies. And this is a two pound bag. And just to make it, just to give it that extra creamy texture, I'm gonna add in an entire eight ounce block of cream cheese. And for some protein, I've got this 12 ounce link of beef kielbasa that I am going to chop up into bite-sized pieces. Now that I have everything ready, I've opened all my packages, got my kielbasa cut up. This is just dump and go. So I took the lid off my crock pot and I'm going to pour the pierogies in. If you can find mini pierogies, I prefer those, but they did not have any when I was ready to purchase them at the store. So this is what the pierogies look like, just in case you're new to them. Now we're gonna put the sausage in, or the kielbasa, the shredded cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and break this little chunk up a little bit, there we go. Got the block of cream cheese on top and now I'm going to pour in the chicken broth. Like I said, pepper, salt to taste, so however much you and your family enjoy or like. I'm going to stir it up just a little bit. I think I'm going to go ahead and chop this cream cheese also. So if you want to do that beforehand, go ahead, but it's super easy just using a spoon and breaking it apart in here as well. So just like that, just into little smaller chunks so it melts faster. All right, not the prettiest thing, <laughs> but it's going to taste so yummy. All right, I'm getting my lid on, and you can cook this on low for seven to eight hours or high for three to four, depending on what time of the day you are making it and when you want it to be done. Okay, dinner is done. This is so good, creamy, cheesy. I feel like I've been sharing a lot of cheesy recipes lately. I don't know why. I'm just drawn to them right now. <laughs> I go through spurts, I guess, but this is so good. Now, the cream cheese is still a little, I mean, they're tiny little pieces. It's not completely dissolved in here, so you could let it cook longer. I don't mind. I love cream cheese, and I don't want my pierogies to get too, this one was stuck on the bottom, you can see there. I don't want them to get too done where they're just falling apart and, and all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. I got myself out a little bowl. I'm gonna make everybody else's in a little bit. I did sprinkle a little parsley on top. I love having green with, with this stuff. Just any kind of fresh herbs, so good with any kind of cheesy dish. It definitely takes it up just a notch. So I always have parsley in my refrigerator. It just, like I said, is the topping that you need on any of these kinds of meals. So if you guys enjoy this recipe, you love cooking in your crock pot, please give this video a big thumbs up. If you are new, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around. I will be back on Wednesday using my Instant Pot instead of my crock pot. So I will see you guys then. Bye.